Everyone, so for this project, I'm going to use brown yarn, um, red and green yarn to make the strawberry, um, some scissors, four millimeter crochet hook, and some sewing needles, and all my yarn are weight four. All right, so we're first going to make the body of the bag, and first thing you're going to want to do is to measure the base of your phone. Mine is about three inches, so I'm just going to chain until I get to three inches. All right, so that's like a little over three inches. I did um, 13 stitches. Um, so I think I probably could go 12. But I think 13 is fine. Then after that, I'm just going to do one more chain. And now I'm going to start um, stitching. So I'm going to skip the chain we just did, go into this second one with two single crochets. And now you're going to go all the way down the chain with one single crochet into each stitch. All right, so I reached my last stitch and the last stitch is going to be like the first one um, in that we're going to put two single crochets in here. And this is going to kind of help build up the sides of the little bag. So we put two there. Now we're going to flip it upside down and we're going to start working on this edge and this will build the other side of the bag, the back side. Um, and this little tail from the chain, you can kind of keep it tucked in so that way you can just, you don't have to weave it in later. You're going to go into that same place where you put um, two single crochets and put one more. Then you're going to go into the next loop and put in one single crochet. Um, so right on this side, we went into one loop and there's two loops. So one loop here and then one loop on the other side. They should be those little light bumps you can see. So yeah. And then um, for a total, you should have honey, however many you chained. So excluding the double we put there. All right, so I think I'm done, but I'm just gonna count to make sure. So I have three, six, nine, 12, and then this one was the number 13. So in total, I have 13, right? So that's the 13th one. This is the extra one we put in, and this is the one from the previous row. So that means I'm done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish this row. This was the chain one we did, so I'm going to go into that single crochet, and I'm going to do a slip stitch, and I'm going to start my next row with a chain one. Next row is going to be a bit easier, you're just going to put one single crochet into each stitch, starting with the stitch we pulled through in, so into that one, and you're just going to go all the way down. And then once you get to the end, so I put a stitch in the last stitch for this row. This is the increase kind of thing we did. I'll just put my hook in there, do a single crochet. And then I'm going to start on the back side. So it's not um, too hard. Just make sure you keep track of the stitches that you do. Otherwise, it might end up um, not looking too even, like if you forget a stitch. So if you're ever in doubt, just always count. Um, how many stitches you have. All right, so I think I'm done, but again, I'm gonna count. So it looks like I have 13, perfect. Um, again, and I ended my count at this stitch. This is kind of the last one. All right, so now I'm going to go into the single crochet again. That's the chain one, so I'm going into the single crochet with a slip stitch. And you're just going to repeat. So start with the chain one, go all the way around, end with the slip stitch, then do chain one again. And um, this is also a good time to check to make sure your phone fits here, if it's too big or too small. Um, I first made it, it was too big, so I shrunk it down a little bit. 
And yeah, you're just gonna do this all the way up until you have it at a nice length. Um, I'll let you know what I build it up to. Okay, so I finished um, the body of my bag. Um, I'm not sure how many rows it is, but it was quite um, a lot. Um, you're gonna end with a little slip stitch and then you can go ahead and cut it. And now we'll go ahead and make the strap. Um, so for the strap, um, you wanna fold it like kind of flat. And then find the stitch that's kind of like in the side. So for me, I think it would be this one. And then you're going to go two over. So one, two. And you're going to stick your hook in there. And then you're going to grab your yarn again. And you're going to pull it through that stitch and tie a knot there. And then, sorry, you're gonna stick your hook in, pull the yarn under, do a little chain. Then you're gonna go into your next stitch with a single crochet, to the next with a single crochet. Um, so that's three so far, and we're gonna do it two more times. So one, two. So our strap is going to be five single crochets wide. Um, and then you can go ahead and turn your work and then do it again. Um, so some people, they do a chain one. I don't really like that method because it makes it look, um, like the sides will look very bumpy. What I do, I just go right into that stitch and I just do a single crochet. And I'm going to finish this row so it has a total of five. So that was four. And my last one will be on that chain one we did. Um, so that one doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a little hard to see. Like that. Then you turn your work again and just keep doing it. So stick your hook in, do a single crochet in that first stitch. Always making sure you have a total of um, five. And this is the other reason I prefer just directly doing a single crochet instead of doing a chain one because um, it's also a bit easier to stick your hook into just like that and as you can tell the edges are pretty straight so yeah you can just go ahead make it as long as you want and then we're going to sew it on this end okay so i finished the strap it's kind of like up to my hip and i'm going to end with a little slip stitch and pull it kind of long because we're going to use this end to sew it in cut it and when you sew it in, you just want to make sure that your strap is, um, is not all twisted up. Then grab a sewing needle. Put the end in, and now we'll start sewing. So as with the other side, you're just going to want to see which stitch is in the middle. So for me, it looks like it's going to be that one. And then so I am... Um, I'm going to use these five, right? One, two, middle, just three, four, five. So, just get it aligned again. Um, I'm going to start um, on the last one on this side. Um, so stitch markers are helpful. I don't have any on me right now, but this is the third one, fourth, so I'm going to start in the fifth. So I'm just going to stick my needle into that fifth stitch and pull it through. Then I'm going to go back into the strap, into the next stitch, and then I'm going to come out on the next stitch at the bottom, like that. And then again, I'm going to go back up. Now I'm at the third stitch go in there. Now I'm at the third stitch here. Then I'm going to go into the fourth stitch. Um, 
And then the last one. Last one's a little hard to see, but it's okay. Um, and yeah, that's how you sew the strap on. Um, to tie it off, um, I just kind of go under one of the stitches we did. So maybe this one. If it's, it doesn't have to be the stitch either. It can just be a loop on the crochet, like one of the crochet stitches. And I'm going to put the needle under it. And I'm going to wrap the yarn around behind and tie a knot by putting my needle through that loop. And this will tie a little knot, but just to make sure it's secure, I'll go ahead and do another knot. Now what you can do, you can take your needle and just weave it into um, the body of the bag. And then when you're done with that, you can just go ahead and cut the yarn. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna make this strawberry. And to do that, you're gonna make a magic circle. And inside, you're going to do a chain three. And then you're gonna put 12 double crochets in here. So I just did one, I'm gonna do two all the way up to 12. Okay, so this is 12 and I'm going to pull to tighten it. And I'm going to go into the first double crochet, not the chain three. I'm going to pull through. And now um, we're not going to do any chains, we're just going to directly do a half double crochet into that first stitch. Do a half double crochet. The next stitch we're going to put four double crochets into there. So one, two, three, four. All right, and the next stitch we're going to put a half double crochet and a single crochet. In the next stitch, we're going to do a single crochet and a next and single crochet in the next stitch as well. So two of those little single crochets. In the next one, we're going to do a half double crochet, then single crochet, or I'm sorry, a half double crochet and a, then a double crochet. So half double crochet, double crochet, and then we do a chain one, and then next stitch we do a double crochet, and then a half double crochet. And this is going to kind of be the very tip of the strawberry, and then these are going to be the sides. So now we're going to do a single crochet, another single crochet, so two in a row. And then we're going to do, in the next stitch, a single crochet and a half double crochet. And in the next stitch, we'll do four double crochets. And then the very last one, you're going to do a single crochet. And then you're gonna go into that first little half double crochet we did, and you're gonna do a slip stitch. And leave the tail pretty long because we're gonna use that to sew the strawberry in. Just cut it. Cool. So now we're gonna make the stem for the strawberry. You're going to do a little slip stitch, and then you're going to chain six. Um, and just to kind of describe how this is going to work, these first, the last four, I guess, that we did, this is going to kind of be one leaf. And then we're going to kind of build another thing off the second loop. That will be a second leaf. And we'll build another leaf over here, if that makes sense. So to build off this leaf, 
um, we have this loop here, and you're going to go into the loop right below it and do a half double crochet. So into this one. Um, and then you're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then you're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. This is kind of one of our leaves. And we kind of have two more little chains here. All right, so a leaf is going to be built off the second chain and then also the first one. So go into that second chain, do a little slip stitch, and then you're going to chain four. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to do the same thing. So from that second stitch down, you're going to do a half double crochet, the one below it, another half double crochet. And then the last one, you're going to do a slip stitch. So that's the second leaf. For the last leaf, same thing. There's one more little chain left. Go in there and do a slip stitch. And then chain four. And then you do a half double crochet in that second stitch down, half double crochet in the next stitch, and then a slip stitch in the last one. So those are the leaves, and it'll kind of sit on the strawberry like that. But we want to have a little like stem coming up. So to do that, you're kind of just gonna stick it somewhere in like the middle where the stem could come out from. I'm going to pull through both of them and then you're going to chain three and then you're going to do or we have three stitches you're going to go on the second one down and do a slip stitch then go into that first one, do another slip stitch. And yeah, now you can um, cut it off, right? So you're gonna do a little pull through and make it kind of long because this is what we're gonna sew the stem on with. And cut it. Um, so now what you're gonna do, You're just going to kind of sew this onto your strawberry. So I'm putting the end of that little tail on a needle and I'll sew it on. Um, first, right, this is kind of like flying in the air a bit, so I'm just going to poke it somewhere there so that it's like set down somewhere. That looks nice. But I kind of put it where I think it'll go and honestly I don't really have a set way of sewing. Um, I just feel like as long as they're both attached to each other, that's fine. So I just pull that thread through the red strawberry. Um, and yeah, I just kind of go for it. Um, and when we sew, we're going to do doing the thing where we pull up and then we go back down into it. Um, and you just kind of just make sure all the little um, bits of the leaves are all secure. And as long as you have that, you'll be good. So yeah, go ahead and just sew on the stem. So I finished sewing the stem on and now we can tie it off. Um, I do that just by kind of tying the red and the green yarn together. Because um, they're kind of in the same place. And then when you're done with that, you can go ahead and cut the green yarn. And then we can go ahead and sew the strawberry onto the back. Um, and I kind of want to make it like a little pocket, so I'm not going to sew the top of the strawberry on. I'm just going to do the sides. Um, but yeah, okay, but first we want to put um, some of the seeds on. So go ahead and grab some white yarn. All right, I was able to find some like scrap yarn. And you're going to put your needle through. You can also just use a small crochet hook for this. This is That's kind of needle optional. And we're going to put a seed to the right, I mean the yeah, the right, left, and the bottom. So starting with the bottom, um, I'm gonna kind of do it 
um, in that scene between the uh, magic circle crochets and then like the second row we did. I'm just gonna put it here maybe. Um, it doesn't quite matter just as long as it looks kind of symmetric. So that doesn't look bad. And I'm we're gonna do it multiple times. So poke your needle back through and just, I would prefer to do three just to make the seeds look pretty full. That's my second one. And I'll do one more. And you can really just put the seeds wherever you want. You know, if you want more seeds, that's totally fine. If you want to make your seeds more like circular or something, that's good. Um, there's really no correct method to do it. So those are all my seeds. And now I'm just going to go ahead and tie it off. So. I'm just going to kind of tie those two white strands together and just kind of leave it at that. Cool. Okay. And I think I'll also weave this end in maybe from the end of that uh, magic circle we did and then trim it just so it isn't in the way. Okay. So now let's go ahead and sew the strawberry on. So since I want to make this a pocket, um, I don't want to start sewing from here. So I'm just going to kind of weave my yarn through until I get to like the edge where I want to begin the sewing. So I'm just going to keep my yarn like there. Cool. And I think I'm going to start maybe at this corner. It'll just be like a little secret pocket. I want it to be like right there. Um, and I'm just going to start by going down through the bag and the strawberry. And then going back up. And this might be a little hard just because, um, you know, you kind of have to reach inside the bag. But it's not too bad. Go over there. Go back up. And just make sure the strawberry is symmetric and in the place you want. Um, sometimes that will change a lot when you're sewing, so just keep an eye on it. And yeah, you're just going to go all the way around with this. Alright, so I kind of finished sewing it on. Um, it's like a little pocket. I'm just going to pull to tighten it a little more. And then you're going to kind of try and turn it inside out a bit. Like that. Now we're going to make um, a knot. So um, we're just going to kind of pick like a little stitch to sneak under. And then go behind, tie a knot. And then secure it again with another knot. And then you can kind of weave this just very like superficially under like some of the stitches and then cut the yarn so that way it doesn't like bump into your phone or anything and there it is so yeah hopefully you found this helpful and that your back turned out well